Morning, we're going to dig a little deeper into the airline industry and Delta's push to hire 10,000 pilots by next summer. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is projecting that employment of pilots should grow to 13 percent within the next decade. Our Meg Shah checking in with local programs to see how they're preparing students here for the workforce. She joins us live this morning with that story. Meg, uh, you're told now is really a good time to enter this field. Yeah, that's right. I talked to a local professor and he tells me despite this pandemic that the pilot industry looks good. He says students who are working towards their license or degrees uh, have an opportunity at a job out there that there are plenty of them available and a lot of airlines are offering great incentives for new employees. Before the wheels or wings can leave the ground, Brian Carmpro's runs through his checklist. Carm Prost is a flight instructor at Kent State University. I've always wanted to fly and uh, that's been a dream since a little kid. He graduated from the university's College of Aeronautics and Engineering this past spring. It was college and it was a lot of work, but it didn't feel like that at the same time because I was out here doing what I enjoyed. He's now working to earn his airline transport pilot certificate, which requires 1000 hours or more of flight time. It's the final milestone before beginning your airline pilot career. Every time a student comes in, it just depends what course they're in and I'll do a ground school, a flight with them or a simulator. Carm Prost has quite a bit of company from those looking to earn their pilot's license. We allow our students to start flying their first semester of freshman year. Brian Neff is the assistant dean for the program. He says when the pandemic hit, they were bracing for a slowdown in enrollment, but quite the opposite happened. Really, it shot up a lot faster than we thought it would. And now, he says, is a great time to get into the industry. There's projected to be, I should say, a shortage of pilots over the next 20 years. So that's going to be a big demand. So the future of programs like ours is strong because it at least seems like the job opportunities will be out there. Commercial pilots are required to retire at 65 years old, set forth by the FAA. And that, coupled with incentives given out by airlines during the pandemic, has caused many pilots to take off from the industry. That was kind of compound with each other and that kind of forced the pilot issue moving forward. Helping programs like Kent's bring in prospective students. But it's also a lot easier to bring students in when they know there's a job waiting for them at the end. For Compros, his end goal is to become a Delta pilot. And though the pandemic has slowed down his path slightly, he's putting in the work necessary to achieve his dreams. I know that there's the path that I want still available. All right, so the the assistant dean of that program tells me that the pilot industry is still very much male dominated, but that they have seen more women enrolling in their program, which he says is important to give this industry a lot more perspective. Katie. Yeah, and Meg, there's a program available at Kent called Delta Propel. What do we know about that? Yeah, so it is only offered at 14 schools across the country, Kent, of course, being one of them. It is basically an accelerated program for pilots to get into a Delta cockpit. It basically guarantees them 42 months or less by the time they are hired as a Delta pilot. Katie. Good stuff, Meg. Thank you.